We're here in Puga Valley in Ladakh, which is the site for the country's first geothermal power plant. Geothermal energy, simply put, uh, uses heat from the Earth's core to produce electricity. This site is nearly 14,000 feet above sea level and would be one of the highest uh, geothermal plants in the world should it come up. A memorandum of understanding was signed between the UT administration, the Ladakh Autonomous Hill Development Council and ONGC to um, create a pilot project that would produce one megawatt of electricity. Right now, this is just at the exploratory drilling phase. Uh, the, no electricity is being produced at the moment. Uh, a second well is due to be um, drilled in that direction. We're here to understand more about the project, its impacts and the potential benefits of geothermal energy in this area. Geothermal energy is considered completely renewable and is among the least polluting because it draws on reservoirs of hot water called geothermal fluid found deep underground. The power plant works by drilling wells several kilometers deep under the surface and pumping up steam or hot water. This steam is either used directly to provide heat or used to power a turbine to create electricity. So, the, so we have right now we have started our drilling first campaign and we had uh, drilled, uh, drilled up to 40 meters. We encountered a huge flux of uh, water, influx of water, which indicates a very good potential and indicates that we have a very good chance to have a very good geothermal uh, opportunity in uh, Puga Valley. The proposed power plant is a 176 kilometer drive away from Lay City and is located in the Changthang Wildlife Sanctuary, which is home to several endangered species such as the snow leopard, Himalayan grey wolf and the black necked crane, to name a few. Several studies have shown that the geothermal potential in Puga Valley is the most promising and there's been an interest in harnessing this power since the 1970s. Ladakh ke do generation nikal gaye. Geothermal ka naam sunte sunte, lekin geothermal unhone dekha nahi. Unhone koi ek kilowatt power nahi banaya geothermal pe. Geothermal sirf bijli nahi hai. Itna yaad rakhe. A Ladakh ke case mein iska importance local environmental factor ke chalte, local climatic condition ke chalte kafi different hai. In Ladakh, where temperatures can dip below minus 10 degrees, geothermal energy can be used for greenhousing, heating homes and army bunkers, and developing infrastructure around hot springs, ONGC officials say. But the exploration process hasn't been entirely smooth. Environmentalists with the Wildlife Conservation and Birds Club of Ladakh grew concerned when, on 16th August, a blowout on the site led to the direct discharge of geothermal fluid into the pristine Puga stream. ONGC officials said the eruption was caused by a 20-minute power failure. Since we encountered a very high temperature, silo reservoir, we started cooling the reservoir first. The temperature was 130 degrees Celsius. 120 to 130 in that range. It is a very high temperature, encountering at 32 meter to 40 meter depth. After that, we started pumping cold water in the reservoir. हम उसको 60 to 60 to 70 तक cool करके हम उसको so so that we can go deeper further. 16th what happened? 11 kV line से हम power लेते थे वहाँ पे power लेते थे और उस power को हम use कर रहे थे drilling operations के लिए. उसने 16th अगस्त को आप देखे होंगे देख लीजिएगा बेटा heavy rain था वहाँ पे पूगा area में heavy rain fall हुआ था. 11 kV line trip हो गया. We switched off. उसके बाद हम अपना जेनसेट चालू करने लगे तो वहाँ पे जो वाटर थे हेवी रेन के चलते उसमें 20 मिनट की टाइम लग गया। इन दो 20 मिनट्स डी कूलिंग ऑफ रिजर्वायर स्टॉप हुई। जो 120 डिग्री का पानी था उसको हम जो कूल कर रहे थे वो डेट प्रोसेस स्टॉप क्योंकि पंप हमारा चला ही नहीं। दे वी हैड अप्लाउड it was not a drilling failure or we were not dumping drilling water into the, into the Nala. The fluid contained benign elements that are not harmful to the environment, ONGC and its drilling consultant, the Iceland Geothermal Energy Geosurvey, told the print. Apart from its energy, the hot springs in Puga Valley are also used for the traditional medicinal purposes. To see whether it will do any, uh, it is insured actually by the ONGC, there will be hardly any kind of uh, environmental consequences. At the same time, uh, these hot springs are one of the major kind of part of Swarekpa, the traditional system of medicine of Ladakh. The traditional practitioner known as Amchis, they've been using uh, hot spring for 
statement from centuries and I particularly ask them that how you will ensure uh, all this uh, continuity, you know, if we should get access to uh, hot spring and they assured that they will conduct uh, several meetings with the traditional healers. In the remote village of Sumdo, the closest to the proposed power plant, villagers expressed confusion about the change in color of the Puga stream. Population तो हमारा जो थर्मल आएगा तो अभी तक लेट का दिक्कत है अभी तक हुआ अभी तो बिजली मोदी जी ने बिजली यहां शुरू चढ़ा है तो ये भी आ सकते हैं लेकिन ये जो थर्मल से पाका लेट निकल सकेगा तो तो हम लोग को फेता तो जरूर होगा ये निकल सकेगा नहीं सकेगा ये हमने कह सकते हैं बोथ ओएनजीसी एंड आईसोल द एटलांटिक कंपनी हैव सेड दे विल टेक एवरी प्रिकॉशन टू इंश्योर अ सेकंड ब्लो आउट डजंट अकर there's one question that always comes up a lot is are we damaging the environment that is the most common question and uh, none of the chemicals that we use here so called drilling mud are harmful to uh, any living creatures animals human being the uh, the drilling consultants that watch here before me and the team back in Iceland have already started to rewrite the drilling script or drilling program and review the drill well design to make sure that this will not happen again. Okay. This is very uncommon if you look at it worldwide, but we have experience of similar cases also in Iceland. So this is something can be handled and will be. Reporting from Puga Valley, this is Simran Sirur with Praveen Jain for the <laughs>